everyone today I'm here to do a tag video or should I say rather a hunt if you will today I'm doing the bookshelf scavenger hunt tag and I did this tag a very long time ago I want to say three or four years ago so basically what this tag is it gives you a list of questions and you go on a scavenger hunt within your bookshelf so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun with this tree right behind me to really scavenge and find the things I need I will leave my tag video I did it down below three years ago and I'll also leave the original tag video as well so yay let's get to bookshelf hunting together so the first thing I have to find is an author's name or title with the letter Z in it. Well, I think everyone, literally every time I've seen this tag video, every time, I already know, it's up there, Marcus Suzak, because Z is not a very popular, like, letter within last names, apparently, so, yeah, here's my pick. Haven't read this book, I know. The next thing I'm supposed to find is to find a classic. <laughs> I don't have a lot of those, but I do know there's one right here, so we're gonna pull it out. So this is Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. I really love this edition. This is the Puffin and Bloom edition. Again, yet to read it. Just failing across all boards today, apparently. Let's just keep on failing. Why not? And then next, we're supposed to find a book with a key on the cover, which I think it's hard for some people, but I know exactly what book to go for because it has, it not only has a key on the cover, it also has key in the title. And that is Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. There is the key right here. It's also on the spine as well. So yeah, this is actually one of my favorite Sarah Dessen books. So whenever I think of key, I always go to this book because I think that's the only one I don't know. No, actually, I think there's another one, but that's the one I go to and it has a key the next, on it. Um, prompt is to find something on your bookshelf that is not a book, which is not hard at all. I have a lot of decor on my shelf. So I'm actually going to go for this right here because every single Christmas when I break this out, I get at least 20 to 30 questions about it. So this is a snow globe. I need to really place the batteries on it because it's kind of really failing right now. Um, as you can see, it's multicolored. It's got like a snowman in it and he's holding snow. You probably can't see it very well. Um, I get questions a lot about where I got this. My husband actually got this for me years and years ago. He got it, I think, at Cracker Barrel. It's, it's a tradition he has to get me a new piece of Christmas like decor like this every single year that's like kind of colored. This year he got me this beautiful tree that lights up. I'll show it to you right here. It is beautiful. It's my favorite thing so far. But yeah, I don't know if they sell these anymore, but I do know if you go on eBay and type in like Cracker Barrel snow globe you can probably find it but I'd say if you're looking for like multicolored stuff Cracker Barrel is a really good place Lowe's is a really good place but I get questions on this like I swear every single video I do in December is always asking about that snow globe he needs to, the batteries to be replaced though the next <laughs> but prompt is to find the oldest book on your shelf and I know where to go for this one as well I'm picking The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. As you can see, this is a very beat up copy. It's very, very old. That's original copy of the book. This is his favorite book of all time. So this is very, very old. I'd say probably like 40 to 50 years old, honestly. Um, yeah, it's falling apart. It's brutal, but it's the oldest book I own. Next prompt is to find a book with a girl on the cover. That's easy too. I feel like there's so many. Um, let's see where to start, where to start. This one I'm pull is The Bells by Danielle Clayton. This actually comes out in... Um, February, I want to say. Look at that. She's beautiful and stunning. I love that. I mean, I could really pick a lot of these on my shelf for um, the cover. Oh, this is one. It's like the back cover. The Music Shop by Rachel Joyce. I just got this in the mail. Very, very beautiful. There's a woman on the cover of that. Um, Roar by Cora Carmack. There's a girl right there on the cover. I mean, there's a lot we can choose from here in YA with this. The next prompt is to find a book with an animal on the cover. Ooh, I know what for this one too. That is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. As you can see, there are a ton of dogs on the cover. Out on the back, there's a lot of cover. There's a lot of dogs as well. I think even, no, she doesn't have a dog right there. But either way, this is full of dogs, which is just amazing. I love that. So another one I have is Blood for Blood by Ryan Granin. There's a wolf right there on the cover as well as the spine. So yay. Breaking this challenge. Awesome. The next one we have is to find a book with a male protagonist. Hmm. This is gonna be quite challenging. I don't read a ton of books with a male protagonist. Like is the main man. Oh, I know actually. By Andy Weir. Follow Mark Watney, um, a male protagonist. One of my favorite books of all time. Great book, love it. So that wasn't too hard. So. Um, then we have find a book with only words on it. Oh crap. This is gonna be interesting. Um. <laughs> I'll be back. So the only one that I could really find, I think, was One Plus One by Jojo Moyes. There's literally only words on the cover of this. Like it just has a lime green cover and then words. So that is gonna be my answer. 
I don't know if that's good or not. The next prompt we have is to find a book with illustrations in it. And I was gonna pick one of my favorite graphic novels, Nimona, but turns out I'm lending it to my brother, so I can't show that to you. So the one I wanna talk about is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Now, I don't know if these are much as illustrations as they are like drawings, but I'm counting them as illustrations because it's full of to the brim with them. I mean, there's a lot of books on my shelf that have illustrations on it, but I wanted to talk about this one because I love this one. It's a heart-wrenching book, it's beautiful, It'll make you cry for sure. <laughs> Find a book with gold lettering on the cover. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Plastic Beast and where to find them, the original screenplay. Look at all that gold lettering. It's freaking beautiful. Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Look at all that gold, well, it's lettering. Well, I don't think that Hazelwood's gold lettering, but it's got gold stuff on it. Does that count? <laughs> and Rosemarked by Olivia Blackburn. Look at that beautiful gold on the spine. It's so beautiful. Find a diary. Oh crap, this one, I have no clue. Not one clue. I don't think I have a single book on here that's like a diary. So I still don't think there's a book on here that I think as a diary of. Um, the next question is to find a book written with someone by a comment with a common name. This one, I'm gonna pick Sally Thorne. I feel like both of those names are common. I I've heard of a lot of Sally's before. I've also heard of Thorn as a last name common. I mean, I think, hmm, I feel like, I feel like Casey West is kind of a pretty, like, common name. I've heard, I hear Casey a lot. I also hear West's last name a lot. Um, Sarah Shepard, that's a pretty common name, I feel like. I hear that a lot. I mean, John Green, um... Stephanie Perkins. I mean, there's a lot of kind of common names that I feel like I hear a ton, so I guess that's my answer. I don't know. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. Hmm, let's do it. Landline by Rainbow Roll. It's a very, very close-up of a landline phone, which a lot of you youngins will not understand the horribleness of a landline phone, but before cell phones, we had to talk to people on landlines, which I hated, and I still hate talking on the phone. Uh, find a hardcover book without a jacket. Oh, I do know one. I have a couple, actually, surprisingly. Bucky the Vampire Slayer, 20 Years of Slang. This has no hardcover at all. You can see. There's no dust jacket. I mean, it has no jacket on it at all. Either way, it's beautiful. Another one, this is actually a fairy loot exclusive, I believe, and that is The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. The original book does have um, a jacket on it. This one does not. There's no jacket on it, which I actually really enjoy. Find a teal slash turquoise colored book. Teal slash tur- I'm gonna have to Google turquoise, really. What is turquoise? Is that like a darker? Okay, so teal. Is this teal? How to Love, is that teal? I mean, I feel like it's kind of, teal's bluish green, right? I'm really bad with colors, guy. Turquoise, I googled turquoise, and the closest cover of a book I have that I think is to turquoise is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne again. I feel like that's very, very much a turquoise color. I don't know, you tell me. Is this teal, is this turquoise? Which one's which? I don't know, I'm not colorblind, but I might as well be. Find a book with stars on it. I found one, I found one. A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. Look at all those stars on it. I totally forgot this had stars on it. I just, I don't know, I was pulling books out, and there it was, that was fun. Um, so actually, that's, I feel really happy about that. I didn't think I was gonna find one that had stars on it. And the last prompt is to find a non-YA book. And I have a lot of those on my shelf, surprisingly. The one I wanna talk about is My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. Uh, I love Sophie Kinsella. Any chance to talk about Sophie Kinsella, I will do. This is a chick -lit adult novel. Love it. That is the bookshelf scavenger hunt. It was very fun. I don't think, the only question I could not find a book for is to find a diary. So if you know of any books that are on my shelf, somehow if you know all the books on my shelf, that's a diary, let me know because otherwise I'm just horrible. <laughs> if you enjoyed this tag, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.